I've already put the base color as the color that I'd like it to be. So I'm going to go and find it and then ungroup it. Uh, Chewbacca, sorry there, mate. I didn't see your comment. Uh, yeah, all my designs that uh, are any good are shared. Um, and uh, Stuzy B85. Uh, thanks, Ice Rabbit Design. Uh, there we go, that's the piece I'm looking for. So, what I'm going to do is make it a shade in the detail around it. And then we're going to go in the center and make it look reflective. So we want a nice black edge here. It's going to reduce the height of that. That's the wrong way. That's the width. Because so I don't want it to intrude into anything else. And again, on the other side. Like that. So what I do is I just make the circles that I'm using a fit approximately where I want them to be. I then adjust the transparency so that they blend. It doesn't look like you've just stuck dark colours in a certain area. And and go from there, step by step, layer by layer, till eventually you've got a finished piece looking at you. So I'm just filling in the edges around here just now. Inside these edges it's uh, quite a uh, uh, much lighter areas. So if I do the dark now then I can put in the light once I've finished in the spaces that are left. Basically. So I'm turning this on its side. So I've got a faint bit here. Now it's far too strong as it is there, so I'm going to reduce the transparency. A bit stronger than that because you won't actually be able to see it there. And a much thinner, much lighter one on this side. Move it down a bit so it looks like it's at the, the same height. There. Now, what I'm going to have to do here is create reflection from this light while also creating a glass effect over the top of the light. So that it's so the area behind the light is reflected, but there's clearly something on top of it as well. So I'm going to take a white and I'm going to put it behind uh, that and that just make it pop a bit. Uh, yeah, uh, thanks uh, Terry for that. No, I don't charge for paints, S&D Rambo. Uh, you can't charge for paints. And if you send your requests, as aka FFA has said there for me, um, if you send your requests to at StuzyB85 on Twitter, that way I can keep track of them a little better uh, and I can make sure that the person who requests a design actually gets the design. Um, so, yeah, add me on Twitter send me a request there if you've got something you like uh, I'll I'll take a look at it so I've reduced the transparency that that right quite a bit down to 22 and I'm just going to basically build up 
light around it, the outside of the circle, but still within the square. I change the colour. Uh, so I've I've changed the colour to blue. Uh, yeah, cheers, Terry, and uh, feel free to follow on here as well, uh, on Twitch. Um, yeah, so what I'm doing now is I've I've chosen the the blue colour that I want to use. It's a really light blue, uh, and I'm just trying to build myself a nice light base to work from. make that quite a bit darker there there's a stupid line on my grid in the way of the exact place where this ends so I'm just gonna put it like that yeah like that right so we have a base there now I'm going to put in some uh, details but I'm going to do that over the top to try and uh, illustrate glass and reflection <laughs> well like I say man if you've got an idea then what I do is I offer two styles of liveries. I offer big liveries like this, like a themed livery, or more like racing car liveries. Uh, but my race liveries tend to be more like um, like more like a Need for Speed style, Fast and Furious livery rather than a, a full on racing replica. So those are the two that I I offer mainly. So if you want a big theme, it'll probably take you more time, and you'll have to give me an idea of what you want. If you want uh, a racing livery or a, a, what I call a random livery, then you would probably get that a lot quicker. Uh, but you'd have to tell me what car you want, what colours you want. And like I say, if you've got any requests, just add, please send them through Twitter uh, so that I can keep track of them a bit better. So now that I've put in the dark, I'm going to try and change that to white and see what happens because obviously I'm doing this with I'm trying things out to see if they work some most of the time they do but sometimes they don't so but when I learn you guys learn so that's pretty much the best way I think yeah that looks okay like that so now I've just got to create the glass effect over the top. Now the way I'm going to initially try that is with really faint white over the top. I'm just trying to get it into a position I'm happy with. And that should be giving me the right effect. So I'm going to take that right up into the corner. So I've thinned it right down a bit. Instead of it just being quite fat like it was. Quite wide even. Um, I'm going to put that there. And we've got slightly uh, less reflective. A, a darker section over here. And I'm going to put that right into the corner. And then just reduce the transparency on it. Finally home, man. Well done. <laughs> Finally home time. Just trying to get my positioning right. So I'm kind of happy with that so far. The way I'm going to try and add to it is by going to the blue. Making that stand out a bit. So just so I can see it better in reference to this really light stuff. Put a blue tint over it and see what effect that has on it. I can 
Oh, I'm spinning it instead of making it bigger. Wondering why the size wasn't changing. <laughs> so it doesn't work as a big bold shape like that. But it might work as like a, a stripe across it. <laughs> like that. I'm not sure if that looks okay. We've got we're missing a few bits up here. <laughs> Thanks, take down. Okay, man. You must like live at work or something. So I'm just going to put in some, a couple of little detail bits here, just a bit of highlight. Yeah. Now I'm going to try a different blue for an idea that I want to try. I'm going to go back too far, make it a bit bigger so I can at least see it. Enhance the colour. Now that's not the right colour so I'm going to try and a different one. I want a nice blue. I think we'll go with that one. I'm going to put it behind what I've done so far. Just use it to try and highlight the edge of the circle a bit. Because that's what appears to be on the picture. There, that's where I want it. Use the transparency because you can barely see it there. Uh, I might do a Hulk. He might be my next portrait piece. I'm going to increase the brightness of the colour, the strength of the colour. that a bit. Now I'm not entirely happy with that. To me it looks a bit too animated, not quite real enough. But um, I won't know until it's nearly done. So as I've said to you yourselves, uh, you keep going until you're nearly finished and then you'll be able to tell whether something's good. Now I know that means you might have put a lot of work into something that you're then going to decide that actually isn't good enough. Uh, but as you can see that doesn't look good and you very good compared to say like the helmet and you could spend hours and hours trying to go back over and fix it and add more bits until it looks right but all you're going to do is increase your layer count the, the way my advice to go about it would be um, carrying on with a separate piece maybe next to it and continue on until you're just about finished and then you'll be able to tell when it's in contact with context with everything else whether it looks right or not. <laughs> okay man, well good luck with your stream. Fox, I'm up for a, a whole coffee if you are. I'll make that my next big paint if uh, that's what you want to do. Uh, I think we both got like sidetracked and put off by the Forza 6 cover of paint off. It's one of those things where you've got an idea for a paint but it just never ever comes to fruition. You'll find, as you'll probably know from watching me tonight and if you've watched me before, the painting takes a long time. And it's taken me two hours to get where I am tonight. Uh, so far, which is uh, quite a while, considering I haven't done that much really. But at least is is 